So we need to stop the violence. We need to stop the silence in order to let our loved ones and our children live, work, and play in a safe environment. An uptake of violent crime in Flint has the entire community hoping for better. With an increase in fatal and non-fatal shootings, Julie Lopez with Crime Stoppers urges witnesses and victims to come forward. But also, if they're on the fence at all about why should I even get involved, think if it was your family. You would want someone to come forward. But getting people to come forward is challenging. Flint Police Chief Terrence Green held a press conference this week and says that even people who get shot and survive don't always cooperate with police or even admit who shot them. According to the Flint Police Department, as of April 21st, there has been 73 non-fatal shootings reported in the city of Flint. This compares to 31 non-fatal shootings through the same date in 2020. The number of shootings this year reflects a continuation of the increase in crime experienced throughout Michigan and the United United States last year and associated with COVID-19. The chief adds that last year the city of Flint experienced a 32% increase in homicides. Green says he'll even work to provide witness protection if that's what it takes. As for Lopez, she says you can always remain anonymous. The people who have information about crime, obviously we want them to go to the police, but for whatever reason, they don't want to do that or can't do that, or think that they can't do that, that Crime Stoppers is 100% anonymous. In Genesee County, Rachel McCrary, WNEM TV5. If you have any information related to the recent shootings in Flint, call Crime Stoppers anonymously at 1-800-422-JAIL. If your tip leads to an arrest, you could earn a cash reward.